the Rosetta Stone, the key to unlocking the ancient past. Arguably one of the most important archaeological discoveries ever made. The stone shows three different languages, Egyptian hieroglyphics, Demotic and Ancient Greek, and so made it possible for historians to decipher the language of ancient hieroglyphs. For years, a countless amount of documentaries and YouTube videos have released detailing the history of the stone and how it was translated and all of that. But one overlooked aspect is what the stone actually says. What is it? A peace treaty? A trade agreement? Or a simple shopping list? Well, the reason no one seems to talk about what it says is because it's mostly just that. A simple shopping list. And tax report mixed into one. The site Britannica itself even states, If you were hoping for some profound wisdom reaching across the centuries, prepare to be slightly disappointed and use the term to describe it. But still, I don't think this is as boring as others make it out to be, so let's look into it. The text is split into three parts. It was created to celebrate the anniversary of the coronation of Pharaoh Ptolemy V, and to do so, part one begins by cataloguing all the great deeds of the Pharaoh. It goes over Ptolemy's religious donations to temples, the tax reductions granted across Egypt, and gives praise to him for finally being able to crush a rebellion that had been going on since the reign of Ptolemy IV, his father. Part 2 goes over Ptolemy's reward, a shopping list in a way, of construction plans set about by the priests to further boost the cult around the pharaoh, Ptolemy V, ensuring further legitimacy and that his name shall live on. This included statues, shrines with new improved decorations, and the holding of a festival to celebrate the pharaoh's birthday and ascension to the throne. The third and final part of the stone is a simple one. It basically states that this message should be translated, shared and redistributed across Egypt, having many copies of the stone planted in temples throughout the kingdom. In fact, this is also not the original, this is one of the copies. So basically, it is a tax report for the end of the year, combined with a shopping list, and at the end it becomes like an ancient day equivalent of a Twitter thread asking for retweets. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. I just could not see anyone else talking about it, so thought I'd make a video if anyone was curious. Not the most interesting text in the world when it comes to the actual content, but I'm sure it helped someone out there. The stone currently resides in the British Museum. And that's it for the Ancient World series for now. I've covered the history of diplomacy between Romans and Carthaginians and some of the earliest known treaties in the world. Going forwards, I have a big plan. A massive series for history of diplomacy of the First World War. The treaties that built up to it. The treaties signed during the conflict. The peace treaties signed at the end. The proposed treaties that never came to pass what each great power wanted from the war, if they could have it their own way, and so much more. Anyway, subscribe and share with anyone else you think may be interested. This has been the history of diplomacy.